Hey everybody, welcome back to the Crafting Brothers. This week we have a really cool build. It is a medieval tavern, and this thing has a lot of detail in it. It's going to be really fun. I did want to point out before I start the build that you need to go get the template for this in the description. I'll put it up on the screen too. Uh, all you need to do is print this out, cut out the pieces, glue it together, and you've got half this thing done right here. Okay, and then I'll show you how to build the rest of it. Let's get right to it. So I went online and I printed out what I think would be a pretty cool looking tavern here with some cobblestone walls and it actually has a little attached bakery with a brick oven. So I think this is what I'm going to model my build after. I'm ready to go so let's get right to it. After you've downloaded and printed out the farmhouse template, go ahead and just glue the pieces of paper right to the foam core and we're just going to cut out all of the pieces. And remember to remove the paper first, it's a lot easier to cut the foam without the paper on it. Next, using one of our 3D rollers, I'm going to put the brick texture into the foam. Now all you need to do is hot glue all of the pieces together and then you're going to have your template for the top part of the tavern. So I've got these pre-rolled cobblestone and brick pieces here that I've uh, already made. So I'm going to go ahead and cut these up and use these for the bottom part of the tavern. So basically what I did is just cut these the same size as the top part of the tavern. And I'm piecing these together as best I can based on the photo that I printed out. Also, you don't need to remove the paper here. And it's a good idea to add some bracer pieces in here just for added strength. Now that we've got the main structure put together, we're going to go ahead and start to add some detail here like the brick walls inside of the bakery. After adding the brick walls, I went ahead and glued the lower part of the structure to the top part of the tavern. What I'm doing next here is I'm going to roll out a whole bunch of wood strips with my 3D printed roller here. The structure is going to need quite a bit of wood planking, so I'm just going to make a whole bunch of these. Okay, and we do want to texture the sides of these as well. I've just got a wire brush here, and it helps to add texture. And as usual, uh, we're going to Mod Podge coat all of these. And we're also going to need to hide this detail on the corner of the tavern here. So we're going to make some square L-shaped wood pieces. Okay, so the way I'm going to do this is the wood beams are going to be going up right underneath the house structure and then these corner pieces are going to go right here. Basically need to cut it like this. So I'm going to use my hot wire cutter and do that. This part is a little tricky so you have to be careful when you feed this through and you might need a cutter to remove the rest of the foam. I've taken these square uh, wood grained pieces and uh, <clears throat> I went ahead and I cut the angle for under the roof here. Next, I'm ready to go ahead and coat my wood planks with a golden brown. And after that, we're going to use a burnt umber acrylic ink, which gives a really good wood grain look. I pre-painted a bunch of samples here, and I decided I wanted to go with this sandstone look on the, on the outside of the house. So what I'm going to do is, after base coating the house tan, I'm going to go with the lighter buttermilk dry brush over that. Alright, I'm going to be building this outdoor structure here, and I need some little thicker beams. Not quite as thick as the ones that I made before, so these are about 3 8 of an inch. For the roof on the outside of the tavern, I've decided to use my wood plank roller, and this should give it a good look. Another really cool tool that we have in our arsenal are these wood plank stamps. And so I'm going to use this to actually put the wood grain in this outdoor eating area. The top of the counter is going to be granite, so I'm using a tinfoil technique here to get that texture. I don't have any measurements for the countertop here, but I'm just guessing based on the printout. After a coat of Mod Podge and black paint, I went ahead and painted all of the wood parts golden brown and then we'll finish up these pieces and start assembling the outside area. At this point, I'm ready to apply my black wash to the entire upper part of the structure. These are pre-made 
little windows here and uh, basically I'm going to give them a little light wet brushing of pewter gray. Okay, now, it's, now I'm ready for a dry brush of granite gray on a bunch of these surfaces here. Now that the black wash is dry, I can go ahead and attach these corner wood pieces to the tavern. I'm also going to start attaching some of my wood plank detail here, and then I'm going to focus on finishing up the outdoor eating area. These barrels and crates were 3D printed and then I've given them a coat of Mod Podge and black paint. After that a coat of golden brown and then some acrylic ink will finish them off. I'm finishing up the barrels and crates here by using a gunmetal color on all of the trim. Okay, as you can see, once you get the metal gunmetal on there, these things really pop, look really cool. So I am happy with the results. I found a really cool way to make the screens on the back of these windows. Instead of cutting a hole in your building, you can buy the screen repair tape and use it for the screens on these windows. And all you have to do is paint them black. Getting close to being done with this thing, but a big project is gonna be the roof. And I'm gonna do it a little bit differently. You can just use cheap stuff that you have laying around the house. Uh, mailers, if you get stuff like this in the mail, which I get tons of. It's kinda like a cardstock. This is a little bit thicker. It's like a thin cardboard, so I'm gonna use this. I think about a one inch wide piece is gonna be good enough here for the, uh, for the roof tiles. All right, it looks like I've got enough of these cardboard pieces cut out. And admittedly, this is a little bit easier for me because I have a bandsaw, and I'm gonna go ahead and cut these patterns out of all these at once. So, realistically, it might take you a little bit longer if you have to use one of these, but either way, it's a lot of work, so I'm gonna use the bandsaw. You can see how that saves Quite a bit of time actually just by making one master and then cutting through the rest of these all at once. I will admit that the bandsaw is a lot easier to use here but there's still going to be some cleanup. You can see all these rough edges here. So I am going to actually have more work to do. I thought I was saving a ton of time but I have to go back and clean these up. Okay after we're done with that we're going to give a coat of Mod Podge and black paint to all the roof pieces and then glue the strips onto the roof. edges of the of the foam there so leave about you know almost a quarter inch overlap and uh, then it will match up with the with the wood so I'm gonna make the uh, the chimney with the river rock and I'll probably use some uh, some putty to go in between and we'll see how that turns out okay and then we'll end up with something like this so we're definitely gonna round this part and uh, probably parts of the outside here. This is what I ended up with for the top part of my chimney. I'm still uh, kind of shaping the bottom part. So what I'm thinking is if I just get a thin layer of this over the chimney and if it sticks, looks like it will, um, then I'll go ahead and put the rocks in the clay. Okay, I'll be the first to admit this is a pain in the butt to get these to stick. I'm actually having to use some PVA glue and just work really slowly. Okay, here it is. It was hard to get all these <coughs> rocks to stick on here, but I persisted and it looks like I won. 
this is what I ended up with here. I put the modeling clay and then the rocks on top of that with some PVA glue. And uh, I don't know, we'll see. It looks okay. It's a little bit heavy. So once it dries, I'll see if it fits on the uh, structure and whether I wanna use it or not. I went ahead and black washed my door archway and all of my oven windows here. Then I'm gonna start gluing all of my detail pieces here onto the structure, like these oven windows and also my 3D printed windows and window sills. I'm using a Sharpie pen here to mark out where I need to cut the holes in the brick wall for these oven doors to go over. I used my X-Acto knife here to cut out these tiny little window openings and uh, then I just popped them out the back. I've also decided to get rid of the cobblestone chimney and replace it with this pre-made one. I think it looks a little bit better. I put a black wash which has a little bit of brown on here and uh, went ahead and cut the holes on the inside which match up to these over here. And uh, now I'm just going to give it a coat of Mod Podge. We're going to glue this on and we're going to glue on the chimney piece and sort of finish this up. Just added a few more wood braces here, there and there. And now it's time to put the windows and window sills on. Using tacky glue, I'm gluing these oven doors over the openings. I'm pretty happy with the way this turned out. I think it looks pretty good. And uh, now it's time to glue this sucker on. One detail I almost forgot is the flashing for the top part of the roof. You can see here that I've added all of the barrels and crates and also a door and archway which were also 3D printed. Now it's time to just finish a few details and we're done with this project. Uh, so what I have to do is make a couple of shelves in here for the loaves of bread that are going to be in the oven. I printed these cool little 3D mugs the other day. I just found a file on the, on the computer and I printed out like four of these things. I made all of these little loaves of bread and uh, it was actually pretty easy to do. I used this uh, polyform air dry clay and uh, just made a little ball out of it and made a few cuts, little crosshatch cuts on there. This is sable brown. It's basically a really light brown and I want to do a light brush with this. I want to leave those cracks in there because that is what you want to see. Just finished painting these little beer steins and I think those turned out pretty cool. I just put a little uh, metallic bronze on there. I did a few paint schemes here for the roof. I wasn't sure what color I wanted to use. I just didn't want it to be the same as all of my others. So I grabbed a teal green here and then I put two coats of black wash over that and I think I like that best, so we're gonna go with that. Okay, you can see here that I've added on the archway and the door to the tavern, and I've also glued my mini barrels and crate up against the side of the building. I thought that would complete the look. Some of the finishing details here are the trim underneath the roof here. We wanna hide that detail right there. So I'm just going to glue these on on all four sides. I'm ready to black wash the roof here and what I want to do is uh, I'm going to black wash both sides and then instead of letting it drip onto my structure here I'm actually going to turn it upside down um, because I want it to drain that way not this way because everything is done here and I'm gonna get drippings on the roof and it'll just kind of make a mess there. So um, I don't want that. After the second coat of black wash, I'm just gonna set this upside down to dry. Now, normally this would complete my build here, but of course I had to take it a step further and make a firewood rack. So I'm just taking the coating off of this copper wire here and just assembling a little simple wood rack with some XPS foam. 
I think this is gonna be a cool little extra that I'm, I'm putting on to the back of this thing. So uh, I'm gonna make firewood, split firewood, and basically I just got a eucalyptus branch. I'm sure you can find a branch of something somewhere. So uh, it doesn't matter what it is. What I'm gonna do is just split these into quarters just like you would if you were cutting wood. And it should look like split firewood. And here's how it turned out. I think it was worth it, it looks great. Okay, that wraps up the tavern build. I hope you enjoyed watching that video. Wait, 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 wait. one more thing. This was so cool, it just made me think that I wanna see what's inside that tavern. What was happening when all these guys were getting drunk. So next week, I decided to build the inside of the tavern. Very cool. It's gonna be cool, stay tuned. We'll see you next week on The Crafting Brothers. Subscribe if you haven't, send your comments. We'll see you next week. Mm -hmm.